Hey what's up guys this is Nish for Tech and Travel and in this video we will be taking a look at the new Micromax Canvas Sliver 5 Micromax is marketing this phone as the slimmest phone ever as this phone is only 5.1 mm thick all around at the same time weighing only 97 grams it is the first 4G LTE enabled phone which weighs so little for those of you who don't know what 4G LTE is, it is simply the next generation of net connectivity in phones which gives about 150 megabits download and 50 megabits upload speeds. This phone has a 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 processor which is not the greatest but should get the job done. Also it has 2 gigs of RAM with Adreno 306 GPU inside. So most of the games and video editing softwares should be playable and usable without any lag at all. Now Micromax says that this phone is very strong and durable and has been made by aircraft grade aluminium. However, at the same thing was said by Apple when the new iPhone 6 Plus came out and in no time people started complaining that it bent in their pockets. So only time or a freaking bend test would tell how strong this phone is overall. Now this phone has a 4.8 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. So the overall clarity should be just a little bit better as compared to a 5 inch 720p display phone. However, not so much that the difference can be actually seen with the eye. What can be clearly seen though is that the screen is smaller than a typical 5 inch phone that we are so accustomed to. It also has Gorilla Glass 3 which in theory is strong however I have seen phones with Gorilla Glass on them fall and shatter the screens. Now the camera on this phone is also decent as it has an 8 megapixel Sony autofocus wide angle lens which takes 1080p videos at 30 frames per second along with a CMOS Sony sensor and a blue glass filter which means that the pictures should be that much more crispier. Now the sound on this phone comes from an NXP power amplifier which should make the tones clearer as well as give them a deep bass. However, the one thing that this phone lacks is front facing speakers. The speakers do not face the front so the voice won't be that much clearer. The battery life on this phone also won't be that impressive as it only has a 2000 mAh one. At the same time, the storage capacity in this phone is only 16 GB and by the looks of it, it can't be increased by another external SD card. Now this phone runs 5.0 Lollipop so the user interface will be quite snappy and fast. At the same time, Micromax has done some software tweaks with a camera app to make the shooting experience of photos and videos much more enjoyable. So now, in the end, what are my final thoughts about this phone? They are frankly a little mixed. I am using a Micromax Canvas HD for the past two years and I am very satisfied with the phone. From that, I know that Micromax will not disappoint us again with this phone. However, the specs of this phone are exactly the same as that of my Canvas HD, only it has even a smaller screen. So if it was me, I would not buy this phone because it wouldn't be an upgrade. However, for people who are getting into the smartphones just now and believe me guys, there still are many who don't have one. For them, this phone is a perfect starting point. Ultimately, I would only give this phone a thumbs up if it comes in at around 6 or 7000 rupees. Anything more than that and there are better options out there. So that was all for this video guys. I hope this was informative and I'll catch you all in my next video. Till then, please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and take care. See ya.